What's going on, Dragon Ball New Age fans? Welcome back here today to another episode of the Dragon Ball New Age Manga Chapter Review, chapters 14 and 15 here today. So to kick it all off, basically, guys, we're going to dive right into chapters 14 and 15. Now, before I begin, guys, you guys might want to go on ahead and check out Malik Studios at DeviantArt. The link will be down in the description below. Check out Dragon Ball New Age on DeviantArt and Facebook. Support the series, guys, and it's an absolute amazing fan-made series. Now, to basically kick it all off, Goku and Vegeta have diffused and, you know, with their fight with Rigor now over, uh, having to endure tons of punishment the Saiyans can now rest, or at least it seems that way. Uh, Rigger's body pretty much folded under the strain of his rising energy, which caused him to implode. Uh, Goku and Vegeta conversate about, you know, the situation, even stating that they're both so tired that they can't even fly right now, but then... Rigor emerges from the rubble, broken, bloody, and destroyed. Goku and Vegeta both shocked that he had survived the 100 times full power Big Bang Kamehameha. And just as Rigor walks out, Rigor then utters out uh, that the fact that he is still mobile and ready for more until he collapses right in front of them, pretty much in agony because, again, Rigor is injured as well. Rigor's wife senses that, you know, he is in danger and rushes to his aid. And of course, when she gets there, she warns both Goku and Vegeta that Rigor will return. Very ominous, mind you. So she warns both Vegeta and Goku that they will be back to extract the revenge uh, but again it's not her place to do so but Rigor wants to honor uh, the entirety of having his revenge for the sake of glory so you know uh, Goku and Vegeta I mean they're, they're, they're shocked on what to do because they basically can't do anything because you know they're both so tired and whatnot but uh, she told both Goku and Vegeta that as a Saiyan he will be back so murdering him right now will not do uh, any justice nor will it deny him of his vengeance uh, and that goes against Saiyan honor so of course you know she summons two Saiyan space pods and in her final words to Vegeta are one day Vegeta one day your luck will run out so they leave meanwhile in a different realm a very dark and evil spirit awaits now deep in uh you know Deborah's castle there was a vault that hasn't been opened in over 12,000 years a corpse is there chained and uh for 12 millennia this evil has slain slept and dreamt of the day, the day it would finally awake to return in the mortal world. And uh, Goku and Vegeta, meanwhile, they return uh, to their normal selves, but the Elder Kai is worried, telling the Supreme Kai that he forbids the use of the Black Star Dragon Balls. Now, in Chapter 15, uh, the Elder Kai explains that the Black Star Dragon Balls um, don't, you know, they don't dispel negative energy like the normal Dragon Balls uh, do, but instead, they act in reverse, feeding on living energy around them in order to grow in power. Now, Although they do have the power to do good, uh, it comes with a huge tax. Now, uh, Goku asks if um, if the Shadow Dragons will return, if the Black Star Dragon Balls will be put to use, but the Shadow Dragons will not return. Now, the Elder Kai tells Goku that the original Dragon Balls were created by a good-hearted Namekian, uh, the one they call Kami, but the Black Star Dragon Balls were created by a great evil, the evil Piccolo Demon, um, and therefore the use of the Dragon Balls are, you know, they have like abnormal wishing abilities and whatnot they don't even disappear uh, once the creator dies so the black star dragon balls are very different in dragon ball new age as opposed to the normal dragon balls and we get to see majub goten uh krillin and everyone else train uh in otherworld while our heroes are informed of these black star dragon balls trunks comes across a very you know a uh, different void in the solar system now chapter 15 uh begins with a very eerie feeling that something evil is lurking something even more powerful than rigor is out there while rigor Rigor um, is pretty much headed home to heal off. Another evil is getting ready to awaken. A very dark chapter thus far, and something that I believe uh, would be leading up to something great. Now, a, a dark hole emerges from the sky, and in the end of the chapter, an evil demon appears. So it leaves you wondering, you know, uh, what can what can possibly happen next, and who this demon is. Now, of course, we do know that you know Malik Studios has created characters even more powerful than Rigor. So I'm presuming that this character is that of the one of the ancient evils that slept within that castle. So uh, let me know what you guys think of chapters 14 and 15 down in the comment section below. You guys can go ahead and read them on Malik's Facebook, facebook.com slash Dragon Ball New Age DBNA. And uh, again, guys, the entirety of this chapter, of these two chapters, sums up uh, Rigor pretty much, you know, uh, emerging alive, of course, but he was ultimately defeated. Like, his body was just in agony and pain. Uh, Goku and Vegeta both in pain. Uh, the Elder Kai explaining the origins of the Black Star Dragon Balls and uh, the ancient evil resurrecting. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, guys. Once again, thank you all for watching. If you guys are DBZ fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you guys don't miss out on a single episode. If you guys enjoyed the chapters, if you guys want to see more, smash that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Check out DBNA. Shout out to Terry, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in in the next Dragon Ball New Age manga chapter review. Take it easy, everybody. Peace.